Okay, so uh, Gavin Allenson here, and uh, I've got Barney Rumble, and uh, Barney's got an amazing fat loss transformation story. Uh, lost over a hundred pounds, and um, we'll show some of the. Uh, well, let me just see if I can get up a photo of what he was like before uh, uh, before he started. Let me just share my screen. Barney Rumble images. Here we go. That was Barney um, back. How many kilos were you then, Barney? Oh, God. Uh, 147.3. To be precise. So that's where you started. So you started off 147.3. Um, and what are, you, what are you down to now? Average about 102. Okay. okay. So we're just we're on the, in the process of getting you below that uh, 100 uh, into, into double digits. So that would be nice. Now, um, you know, people, you, so like you look at somebody, you know, like that and you think, oh, blimey, you know, you don't know the backstory, but tell us a bit, a little bit about what you were like in your twenties and, you know, you, you haven't always been that large of you. <laughs> no, no, very much the opposite. I was, uh, super fit as into all my sports, rugby union, rugby league, sport, karate, weights, squash, adventure training. 30 years in the Air Force, so... Um, you seem to bodybuilding as well. Massively, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, believe it or not. Not my belly, but yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so um, what, what happened then, after being like that in your 20s, what happened to then you start putting on the, on the weight? Uh, picked up some injuries, um, and then gradually put the weight on... Um, the less, less active I became and the more st stuck behind a desk in an office, um, piled the weight on, wasn't able to do as much as I used to do. And then it just spiraled with all the excuses and, and the rest of it. So yeah, ended up in um, a sad state of being very overweight, not helping my injuries because it started off with my B5 and shoulder injuries with rugby. And then bad back, which was highlighted the more weight I carried. Um, eventually had an MRI, found seven things wrong with my back from um, dis de de degenerative disc disorder to smethal sacs to curvature of the spine, um, nerve clumping. Yeah, all sorts wrong. And being told just to manage it, as long as I could do my primary role, mm -hmm. still deploy, it went everywhere and did everything. Um, Tried a few times physically um, with the physios in the forces. Um, what do you mean? What do you mean by training your way out of it? As in? Um... Yeah, yeah. But I, I tried getting referred a few times and, and doing like intensive um, under tuition a few times a week. But every time we pushed too hard, I used to get sciatica down my legs and things, mm -hmm. um, and the pain used used to flare up like eight, nine out of ten every time. So. It was a case of just pain management. The drugs didn't work. The pain didn't work. They couldn't operate because of the discs. Um, L4 and 5 had crushed. Um, so, yeah, it was, I, I couldn't do much. And then just basically stuck in an office, not going to the gym every day. Like, I used to run to work, um, gym or squash or whatever at lunch, rugby three times a week, um, away at weekends, adventure training, mountain climbing, abseiling, wow. whatever it was, doing everything. And then eventually um, got in a rut, depressed, doing my job. And then... Um, Were you on any other medications or anything? I was on, on in the end, I was on lots for high blood pressure. And um, obviously in the end, um, liver and kidneys started failing. I got that big and obviously... Um, I ended up getting um, that poorly, um, went into hospital, uh, spent 11 days on three drips 24-7, um, trying to get my, my liver and kidneys um, working again, basically, because they were failing. Wow. So it got that bad in the end. Um, I decided it was time um, to leave the role I was doing in the Air Force. Yeah, I could perform day to day um, at the high level I was, but... I wasn't performing how I wanted to perform physically and mentally more than anything. So 
packed it all in um, 31 years later and then uh, decided to concentrate on me and the family. So, Because you, you were in a hospital um, and it was a year, I think, from when we just talked about this before, you were in hospital, it was a year before you actually left the forces. So you had that big wake up call. Um, did you try and do anything in that year to lose weight? Did anything, uh, anything work or did, um, you know, what happened then? Yeah, because I was, I was abroad. Um, so the, the hospital that I was in um, suggested a really weird um, lifestyle diet. So it made me carbs, um, which didn't do anything um, for me. I, I wasn't losing the weight or anything. Um, and I had to get us back to UK and, and try and sort a life out because obviously living away in the forces, you're in their accommodation. So we had to come back to our accommodation and get, you know, concentrate on us and, and life. So one of my friends, he'd lost some weight. Um, he was in the Air Force and, and he basically said to me, why don't you try this um, low carb, you know, mm -hmm. high fat um, ketogenic diet and um, they do all sorts of stuff with it, fasting and all sorts of supplements and techniques. And um, it comes with a, a massive support um, you know, the support team that, that are there for you, they'll yeah. help you do the changes. So, so, so he, he, he saw that, or you reached out and saw that he'd lost some weight and um, he, he started out. Did you, uh, you know, what, did you just jump straight in or did you do much research? What was the, I don't remember all that at this time before we got in contact. Yeah, but I, I like everything. I, I like to research it. Um, I, I'd tried the Atkins diet and things years ago um, and I did really well on that. Um, I'd lost weight on that as well. And it was very similar. Um, so I gave, I gave him a call and discussed what he'd done and, and what it had affected him and what, what, what he'd done all about it and how he'd actually done it. Um, yeah. And he put me in contact obviously um, with you guys and a great support team that have uh, helped me along the way. Okay. So, um, what have been some of the, before we go into some of the details of some of the things that you did or we yeah. did, um, what have been some of the big changes for you overall? Well, obviously, um, straight away, um, I started lose, losing lots, uh, very quickly. Um, 36 pound in 36 days. Um, be, before that I could literally, I'd go shopping, walking down the street. And when, when you're carrying, you know, I think I'm what, over seven stone down now. So you're carrying an extra seven stone. My mates are running marathons and Ironmen. Uh, and I used to be like the first, in, you know, at the front of all of these things. Uh, I didn't lose anything. Um, but now I was losing weight. So yeah. the, more, the more weight I lost, the easier things become. Um, my sciatica, my back problems eased. Um, I st stopped getting the pain up totally, um, sciatica. And the, the, the more um, weight I lost last July, which was like seven months in, um, I, I ended up, I got down 98 pound um, and ended up doing a 5K mud run um, with a team. So that's the first real exercise I'd done in years, um, apart from walking the dog and walking up the cliffs over in um, Cyprus and things. So physically, I wanted to do stuff, but I, I, I couldn't. Mm -hmm. And then the, the less you do, um, the less mentally you want to do as well. Um, I, I just wasn't in a good place. And uh, So how has that mental uh, side of things changed then? Yeah, absolutely amazing. I mean, like when, when I read up on what, what it gives you and, you know, burn your own fat, give you more energy. Um, I was sleeping better. Um, the focus was amazing. You feel good about yourself. You want to do more. Um, the medications, um, I went back to the doctor um, because I didn't feel I needed the medications. The blood pressure had dropped. I stopped getting anxiety and hypertension. You know, all, all the side effects of um, being overweight and, and obviously having... Um, I had an oversized fatty liver, so that dropped from 30 cc's down to 14. Uh -huh. um, everything reversed. The, the specialist called me in because he couldn't believe that the changes in a year. Um, yeah, it was absolutely amazing what, what it did for me and myself and my family. And um, 
I actually, you know, felt alive again first time in God knows how long, rather than just functioning, going away, doing my job, coming back. Um, yeah, I, I could smile again. I mean, you look at them original photos, I don't think I smiled once. We'll get some of the other photos up in a sec. But the interesting thing was, because I remember when I started, and one of the questions I often ask is, um, you know, does your, you know, what's your partner like? You know, because if you're both overweight, then it's something you can both do together. Uh, but um, if one of you's underweight, then one of you's diets and the other one's eating chips and everything, then it's a bit hard. I remember you saying, oh, no, Tina's fine. She doesn't need to uh, lose any weights. But uh, what's happened there? Well, bless her, because obviously it's easier when you're cooking as, as a family the same meals rather than, oh, God, don't put them up. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, go carry on. I'm going to get the mud run up and stuff. I've got some. Oh, look at this one. Look at this one. This one makes me laugh. Got to share yeah. this. <laughs> oh, but no, we've got some ones uh, at the after as well. So this is a good one I like. Obviously, um, I can want to open up. Yeah, so there you are now after. That was um, after 88 pounds gone. You've done a bit more than that since. And also, yeah. you had your that herd. We did the mud, mud run at 88, but now we're over 100, so we're not doing bad. But yeah, for the food wise, Obviously, Tina started cooking keto bread for me and things. When I ditched like the rice and the pasta and, and didn't eat the, the normal um, whole grains and things, um, it was easy for Tina to join in with me, uh, you know, and, and, and eat ketogenic as well. And she ended up losing 34 pounds in about four months. Um, she's working that hard at work, doing probably 20,000 steps a day um, at work and um, burning all what she ate and she was still eating um, chips and crisps and chocolate and everything as well as um, ketogenic yeah um, but yeah she uh, so she so she was so she wasn't following the, uh, a strict uh, keto plan so because if you don't know strict keto is just like 20 uh, 20 grams of carbs total a day so like an apple and that's it but she was still eating you know, crisps and chocolate every now and then, but she still managed to, you know, to lose all that weight as well. Yeah, yeah, totally. Because there'll yeah. be some people here watching this who probably only got 30, you know, only say only, you know, they've got 34 pounds that they'd like to lose. So you don't have to be um, as, as strict as, uh, you know, as you were. That's, uh, that's down to a lot lifestyle choice. Yeah, I mean, she did uh, what to, to lose well when she lost the 34 she was she was trying to eat like I was because <laughs> unbeknown to me and I, I did know but um she, she wasn't happy with how she felt about herself at the time right um, and that's why she she was eating similar to me and, and keeping the lifestyle yeah, yeah. Um, until the point when I said look you're actually going too far you're getting too thin you you know you're losing your curves, not that you say that to a lady, but you know, you get a leeway with the wife, but no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so we, we put a hold on her actually um, sticking to it and, and yeah. fed her more protein, nutrient based, good proteins, good carbs, yeah. um, some, some nice, some good fats. Um, yeah. So, yeah, um, and, and she, she put some weight back on a little bit, but. Um, okay. Again, like ladies do, she's uh, never happy and she might be uh, joining me on it again because I've just done another push and I got over the hundred pounds down. So, yeah. Yeah, because you know what, you know, basically, you know, what I think what you're saying is, you know, you've, you've changed your lifestyle um, and you, it's not like you're, this isn't like something that um, is a diet you'll follow for, you know, a few weeks and then go back to your old ways and then watch the weight slowly creep up. Um, you know, what I've tried to teach you is, uh, is skills that you're going to be able to use and flex as, as you go throughout your life. So if you know you're going away for a, a, a wedding on a weekend and there's going to be loads of food and drink there to drink, you'll be able to have a, a coping strategy to be able to manage with that. Yeah, and, and that's exactly what I've done. Rather than, like I said, the Atkins before, it was more of a a fad diet you, you drop two stone but you, you bang it straight back on as soon as you stop what you're doing um so like i've just held off i've, I've got down to 98 pounds loss and i've averaged within about six eight pounds for eight months so you know i've not piled the weight back on and then i, I said 
I'm going to actually go for that hundred pound. You know, it doesn't sound a lot. Um, I think I had seven pound to to get back off seven eight pound. But I was like, no, I'm going to do it. So obviously, I know what I'm doing now, or a lot better with um, daily intermittent fasting, yeah, or, or prolonged fasting, or the reboots, or strict keto, lazy keto. Yeah. There's lots of different um, variations on everything, and I've, I've got that um, adept at using the, the different tools. Um, it. It's a lifestyle, but it, it's a, a like you say, you can adjust it around holidays, weddings, social functions, yeah, yeah, and anything you need. You can still live your life, and I clearly am. I'm, I'm 15 months in now, 12th. Well, when was it? 12th of Jan, um, I started on it, um, yeah, and, and since then, I, I've managed you know about 100 pound loss and kept it off, so cool, enjoying it, love it. Well, you know, I really appreciate you uh, taking the time to, you know, like share your, your progress and your story. I know you're, uh, you know, inspiration to a lot of people actually, uh, you know, see, see what you've done. Um, and, you know, if you've got any questions, um, you know, reach out to either Barney or I and, um, you know, we'll share with you, uh, you know, what it is we're doing, how we're helping people and, um, you know, how you can, you know, get involved and, uh, you know, maybe lose, you know, lose some weight yourself. So, uh, just, uh, just message us and um, uh, we'll help you out and um, let, let you know. Yeah, no problem. Okay. All right, cheers, Barn. Thanks, Gavin. Stop the recording.